Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Google Drive for Desktop so that you can upload photos from your computer to Google Photos automatically. First, let me explain. I'm going to be using our a Google account of our imaginary friend Alice. So here is Alice logged into her Google Photos and there is nothing here. Now there's lots of photos on this computer. We're going to upload them using Google Drive for desktop. Here is the folder for pictures. And notice there's a lot here. And inside each one of these folders, there might be more folders like this. It's for that reason that we need to use the automatic Google Drive for Desktop procedure. Otherwise, I highly recommend using the manual methods. If you have few enough folders, it's better for you to control it using the manual method, and there's another video on that. So I want to see exactly what we're talking about with this pictures folder. I'm going to get the properties and show you that there's 35 gigabytes worth of files in this picture folder, 8,129 files. So we're going to see how long that takes. But there's one more folder on this computer that I want with pictures. It's on an external hard drive, and there's this folder called Jim's Picks. Now, it doesn't have too many folders in it. I could maybe do that manually, but as long as I'm uploading everything, I'm going to upload this folder as well using the automatic method. So, you need the software Google Drive for Desktop. If you already have it, then you can skip this installation part and go straight to the settings. If you don't have it, the way you get it is go to your Google Photos and you click on Upload. We're not going to upload manually. We are going to use Google Drive for Desktop to automatically back up photos from your computer. Download. Once it's downloaded, you need to open and install. If you're using Chrome, you'll see it in the lower left-hand corner. Click the little up arrow and open. Install Google Drive. Well, I am installing it solely for the purpose of uploading Google Photos, so I don't need any of this other stuff that refers to Google Drive and Docs. Google Drive successfully installed. All right, I'll close this. The first thing it wants me to do is sign in, and I am using Alice's account. I definitely downloaded it from Google, so I need to sign in, close this window, and return to Google Drive. So. Close this. Now, you find Google Drive in the lower right-hand corner in the SysTray. If you don't see the little drive icon right away, click the up arrow, and there it is. It's not ready yet, so it's gray. And sign in. Once you've successfully signed in to the Google Drive for desktop, find it down here in the SysTray. It is the little triangle representing Google Drive and it shows that we are logged in. Everything is up to date. That's because I haven't asked it to do anything yet. Under the, and all I want this to do is upload photos from my computer to Google Photos. You go into Preferences to set that up. And leaving it on my laptop, we are not going to deal with this Google Drive section in this video. So I want to put my pictures backed up. So add folder, pictures, right there. So just pictures, select folder. Now that's going to automatically select all of the subfolders and the sub-subfolders. And it assumes that you want to sync with Google Drive because this is Google Drive for desktop. But no, I do not. I only want them to go up to Google Photos. So that's something that you got to do here. 
and done. Now I want to add another folder, that one that was on the external hard drive. Click Add Folder. Find the external hard drive, the Seagate, and it was Jim's Picks, and select Folder. And as I said, it's getting all the subfolders. I do not want it to go to Google Drive. I do want it to go to Google Photos. If you have both checked, it will get uploaded to twice and use more of your Google storage. So no, I don't want it on Google Drive. Done. Then be sure to save. You have not finished setting this up until you click save. I made that mistake once. And notice here it says backing up photos and videos from two folders in storage saver quality. That is what you want. If you click there, if yours says original, you're going to be taking up a lot more of your storage space in Google, in your Google account. You want it at storage saver. Now you just wait. It, it seems to take a while before it gets started. So I'm, I'm just going to close this for now. There. Now this little icon of Google Drive, can you see how it, it's spinning a little bit? That is telling me that there's activity going on. If I click on it, I am now seeing how it is uploading photos to Alice's Google Photos account. Let's, let's go take a look. I open up Chrome, I use Alice's account, and she now has some photos. But remember, we told it to upload, what, eight to 10,000 pictures? So this is going to take a little bit. Well, it's been less than two hours, and Google Drive is reporting that everything is up to date. But I go and take a look at the photos in Alice's account, and there's a lot missing. There should be hundreds from 2017 and 2018, and they're not there. So I need to look at, in Google Drive, it says that there are some errors. Let's view that. Aha! You don't have enough Google Storage to sync some files. But I want you to notice here in Google Photos, it says storage is only 2.3 gigabytes of 15 gigabytes. It takes a while for this measurement to catch up. So I'll check on this in a day or two and see if it gives me accurate results. Meanwhile, if this was, if this was your account, your photos, my recommendation would be to buy the 100 gigabytes for $1.99 a month and it would continue backing up.